Till F H O H N I C and you watching Fast Holly's Only Run with Your Brung. F H O. Let's ride. No, he's dealing with the health care. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's dealing with health care. He wanted to push this health care shit. Right. That's what he's dealing with. But no, what he was supposed to have been doing, if he had not been a smart president, what he was supposed to be doing, the health care, we got to get this. First thing we got to do is get these folks some jobs. Yeah. That's the first thing you got to do. Get the economy going. I don't care what kind of uh, health care system you got. I mean, if a sucker don't have no job, he... he he gonna get sick any damn way. <laughs> <laughs> That's some devastating shit when you don't have no job. Right. You see? So that was the first thing you're supposed to do. Make sure, because first of all, you look at the blacks, you have more unemployment among our race than any other race. Okay. So if the white folks are doing bad, you know what the black folks are doing. Terrible. So that's the thing that he should have been looking at. I ain't got nothing against the health care thing, but that wasn't the way it's supposed to be. Okay? He did it that way. Okay? He decided he's going to push this health care thing through. Health care thing comes through, what happens? It goes online. And flops. Day. And flops. Today, after all of the shit that he done went through, he done pushed it through, he done said, we got to have this, and damn it, this is going to go in, and it's going to start on this day, and it's going to be a good thing, and, and you're going to keep all your doctors, and you, and, you, and you don't have to worry about all this other bullshit, and what happened? The first day it went online, what happened? It flopped. It flopped. It flopped. What's the second thing that happened? You can keep your, you can keep your doctor, you can keep all of your shit, you ain't got to worry about it. What happened? Well, uh... What happened? Uh... Huh? Oh, no. They, 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 oh, no. I, I, uh, he's still sitting up here talking about you can keep your doctor, you can keep your dog on plan if you want it. He's still sitting up there saying that and the folks is in the background canceling people out left and right. <laughs> See, the, the, and people, you got to understand if you're the president of the United States whether you're white, black, and different, when you say something, you got, you got to mean it. You got to mean it. You got to mean it. What you say got to be. Now, he may not have been the reason. He, he The shit that he was saying was probably being out there fed to him. The problem with him was whenever you have some shit like that went wrong, folks are supposed to be fired. Mm -hmm. He ain't fired nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Who has he fired? He fired that. The only somebody I know that he remember that he fired. Well, that doggone uh, general that was over there in uh, in Afghanistan that, that opened his damn mouth and said some wrong shit, and he brought his ass in there and fired the shit out of him. <laughs> Other than that, he ain't fired nobody. Who has he fired? Name somebody so, that this man. So fired. hold on, man. We at, uh, this is where we at, man. Dad is saying, Dad is saying, man, that uh, when 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 you want to point the finger at whoever you want to point the finger at, there's people up under them. Who make things happen? I we were just mentioning the president. Everybody want to blame the president, the president, the president. But like Dad was saying, is that he has a whole team up under him. And when when you get him and get him on stage and say, "Hey, this okay, president, this you read this, this is what you, this is your plan," and he read this and say he's gonna do this. When this don't go right, Dad is saying, "Okay, when well, who gave me this? You gave me this. Get your ass." <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's supposed to fight me. Fight. Don't don't just oh, you know, uh, no. Nah, uh, yeah, well, that was a mistake. Yeah, uh, you know that wasn't what we actually meant. Uh, that not, you know, no, 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 no. If you gave me some wrong shit or some wrong advice, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> what you been older? You been in law enforcement? You been around way long in this cell? What do you think needs to happen? Or if you was in a position to make something happen, what would you do, or what would you put in place? to make it better, not only for the blacks, but it's for whites and for law enforcement as well. well okay, and I'm going to add that to this before you answer that. What, add what Snowman said is this. Is there additional training, or or because of the black culture, do officers need to be trained differently to deal with, with blacks? No. No, okay. No, I don't, I don't believe so. Because see, the thing you got to understand is people are people. You see, like I said... This thing is close to our heart because we're black, mm -hmm. and we we see it 
and the news sensationalize it. Okay. okay? But I, I keep telling you the thing that people don't look at is that these type of things happen, and but when they happen to other races, i.e. Caucasians, i.e. Uh, what uh, Chinese or Orientals, uh, the news media does not bring it up. You, know, you don't see it. So, are, so, so it, it, it's not out there like that. So is so. If you're saying that, then that is what you're saying. Is are you saying this black news is more exciting than Chinese news? <laughs> Look, black news when it when it comes on, yeah, everybody wants to see it. Call you right back. Okay. Everybody wants to see that. Okay. And it, and it goes back to the history of blacks and whites in this country. Okay. You see, you got a liberal news media that really wants to sensationalize any kind of wrong that they think is out there. You know. Now, <laughs> case in point, case in point. You have the situation with Brown, uh, with the boy up in, in New York. Who, who unfortunately got killed. That same day, that same day, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, if you went to L.A., Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, Baltimore, look how many black kids, black Young men, Died babies, same. were killed by other blacks in those cities that same day. You go research it and see how many have been killed in those cities. Right, I understand. So, that but is that so? But, true, but no, that don't make it no, right. No, it's not a matter of what the makes white it right. person no, to kill. No, 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 no. You talking about one person who got got killed? Okay, and and the, and the other thing that you got to understand is is that these guys, these cops. To kill these boys, I guarantee you that they did not go out with that on their mind that I'm gonna kill me a, a nigga. nigga today. Yeah. Well, that's the way it seems. It's starting to look bad. <laughs> but that's the way that they want you to think. That's, that's the way, way that they want you to think. It, but see, you you think it, and you're feeling wrong because, because I'm gonna tell you why you look I feel at the that statistics. Way, I'm gonna tell you why I feel that way, Dad. You said the cop didn't leave his home saying I'm gonna kill a nigga today, which he probably didn't. But what transpired throughout that day to make him feel like he might want to kill a nigga? So you don't know that. Okay, but See, it could but, have been different stuff that happened on throughout the day okay. that brought him to that okay. point. But the bottom line he is, I came home and a, no, and a black man no, had some hung up in no, his old leg. No, I'm just saying. You're going way off. You're going way off to be passed then. I mean, if he had a came home and found that out. He had the gun. Why didn't he shoot the <laughs> Man, I love, I love messing with Dad, man. He gonna always have something. But I'm just saying that, that the majority of the time, see... Well, that what we try, we we trying to get to the what what, what snowman and uh, on, on what we're saying is a solution. What can we what can we do to kind of so this don't happen again? And I like what you're saying about black on black crime and we killing our people. And that Sal said this earlier. We do need to police ourselves and get our shit together first, and then once we get ourselves together and make us better as a people as a whole. Then we can start taking care of some of these other pushing the line on, on everything. Yeah. Well, but, but but look, why do you think? Let me ask you this question: Why do you think that crime in the black communities is so prevalent? Because the blacks are the one committing the crimes, right? No, no, but no. Why is it so prevalent? Well, because for one, we 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 as a people, not all of us. But the majority of us are all pressed that we don't have no jobs, we don't have no health care, we really don't have nothing to look forward to. You get in a, to a point where you feel like you don't have a future, so anybody that got any type of drive about themselves or want something, they're going to do what they got to do to have something. You see what I'm saying? That's why you okay. got... So let's, let's, let's take that back then, okay? Do you think that the blacks in the... In the 40s were worse off or better off than the blacks today. 
Yeah, I think they were better off if you act the way the shit going yeah. now. Yeah. Were the blacks in the forties? I mean, they I, I better say, or worse off than what they are. I, I would probably say worse off. I but, would say worse but off. But I would say this: they were worse off, but they were stronger than what the black man is today. The, a black man in the forties yeah, because they had to go through more stuff and endure much more. Stuff than what we have to today. Now, look, look, wait a minute. So wait, I was saying, let, let me just say this. You guys just went on your round the world. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, did that. So you told me about one of the places that you went into, and you guys wasn't welcome. Yeah, mm-hmm. New Jersey. And how did that make you feel? I was pissed off. You pissed off. Yeah. That was in the forties, fifties, sixties, and somewhat into the seventies. That was life for every black man in the South. On, a, on an everyday basis. And anyway, on an everyday basis. That's why I say it's worse for them back then. As far as getting a job. Yeah. 40s, 50s, 60s, and into yeah. the 70s. Until they passed the dog on laws where they started having to give uh, minorities jobs and stuff. Affirmative like action. Affirmative action. You did not have blacks. You couldn't. You couldn't even go down there and say, "Hey, I want a job working for the city or the county or the what? state." Exactly. Okay, so but that. So, so what you're saying is because they are you saying because they've like, given us this, no, we no, we support. No, I'm okay. not saying what okay. they gave us. I'm just saying that those people, the difference in the black community back then and now, mm-hmm. is family. Okay. In community. Okay. Families and communities did not allow, even though you didn't have it, damn it, you better not go down there and do nothing, take nobody else's, right. what, what they right. had. You right. ain't going to go be not, you right. ain't going to disgrace this family right. name by going right. do this and doing that. Right. The difference nowadays is, is that, that blacks matter. harbor the, 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 the stuff that blacks do. Just like I said, you got way more black folks out there killing us every single day, and we ain't marching nowhere. Ain't nobody saying, no, that's a shame. Yeah. I mean, you know, a, a baby, a white baby, sitting on his porch, a, a, a gang go by, drive by, blow the baby up. Oh, that's a shame. Ain't nobody marching no goddamn way. Yeah. So, don't you know, I, I feel for the young men that the police kill. You see, but when you look at the overall picture of who's killing us, it's us. And I, the police was killing us like we killing us. Hell, I'd be out there. <laughs> you, you be on me. You be I on me and Snowman team. Yeah. I got to get out there and go. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, if the police was killing us anywhere near the way that we kill ourselves, then hell, you got to go out there. It's a war. Yeah. Right. You see, so you got to put things in perspective. And like I said, with those with those men that unfortunately lost their lives. If they had a cooperated police officer, hey, you under arrest? Hey, all right, turn around, put the handcuffs on me, take me on in. They'd be alive today. Right. Now, I can agree with you with the man that was selling cigarettes illegally. But what I don't agree with is those guys that wasn't in a commission of a crime when they got killed. Well, we could use that one. Let's try Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin? Yeah. Trayvon Martin wasn't killed by the police. Well, I mean, he's killed by a white man. He acts like a police. <laughs> <laughs> he had no security guard. He had no security guard. No, but but what I'm saying, we're, we're, what we're saying though, that we're just saying, we're, what we're saying though, is the indifference. No, what we're just, we're, we're just saying, no, wait a yeah, the, the, the pattern. Hold on, no, wait a minute, hold on. Didn't you see Sir Zimmerman? You saw you saw Zimmerman, didn't you? Everybody saw Zimmerman. So now you gonna say that Zimmerman was the police who? Hunted the, hunted the boy down and shot him. No, no, we, we're just saying the pattern of the whites killing blacks. We're saying the pattern. The pattern, and they're getting away with it. That, the, today, that's what we're speaking on. How are they getting away with murder? Like profile answers. Like, and if you got on a hoodie, because, listen, are you listen, a the way, listen, the way the law is set up, mm-hmm. it's Okay. Okay. That police officer is out there representing the state, society. So, generally, you got to catch him. Then done some real terrible, bad shit. Even though you saw it 
Only, hell, look at the, um, Rodney King. Yeah. Rodney King, only police officer. Oh, man. We, but that shit was happening every day. That is. <laughs> right, yeah. But they've been, they been, you know, it's an aberration. Now, it wasn't happening every day, but it was, you had police officers out there that allowed that kind of stuff to go on. I mean, I was telling okay. Snow though, Damien, when, uh, when I got jumped on, and I had to get all that shit, they, they jumped on me 14, 15, 16. So the Rodney King shit wasn't a surprise. He was just the only one, that, the first one to tell on them. Uh, yeah, the, 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 yeah, they got caught on camera, no, per se. got caught on camera. Yeah. But even though it was caught on camera, even though you had it on camera, and they, they saw what they saw, what happened with the doggone court case? They just gave him some money. No, 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 no. no the, the police officer... Coon and all of them. They said no. Uh, it, it was resistant arrest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that's the reason why the riots went on in LA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's the same mm-hmm. thing with this thing. Even if the boy, even if they had the camera and everything, they had the camera on the boy that just got choked to death. Wow. That was like he wasn't choked to death. I think there's other complications that kill that boy. If it, if it, if it comes out at the uh, Autopsy. Autopsy and everything comes out. It's going to show that the boy, there was other complications that killed that boy other than him. Well, I mean, it could be ex- excitement, ex- ex- what's that, asphyxia, what's the word? Ex- no, no, when I you get super excited, your heart rate, I mean, a whole lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, a whole lot of stuff can I happen. Think yeah. I mean, but what. Well, at what time, though, even though, Dad, when he said he couldn't breathe, obviously they had him subdued. Why did they didn't take the time out to say, hey, he can't breathe? Why you can't breathe or hold up, let's see what's going on. Because they could have put the handcuffs on. They could have did, I feel like they could have did something instead of to keep applying pressure. At what time did people going to stop to think and say, hey, this man could die or wait, this man could get killed? Wait, wait, wait. Or, do, you, do, you, do you know, okay, that particular case, do you know that there was a black supervisor that was sitting there watching what was going on? Oh, well, his ass needed to be on, on, in the hot seat, too. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That they don't tell you these type of things. There was a black supervisor who was standing there watching the entire thing go down. Now, and where I come from, where I come from, when he was talking about I can't breathe, the supervisor was supposed to get in there and said, okay, you get up, you let, let's find out what's going on with exactly. you. Now, I would also tell you that being in law enforcement, I've had them tell me that, you know, that's too tight, that, 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 and so you live it up, they bam. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I believe that. Too. Bam, you know. I believe that, that. Yeah, yeah, I've I had that happen to me yeah. when, when, when the boy, and, and not only did the boy, not, the, 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 he was the Mexicans that did that, right. went straight from a gun. Now it's, now it's a doggone fight going on. Right. You let see me, what I'm saying? Let me, so, ask, let me ask you this, though, Dad, as, a, as, a, as an officer. Do you feel like, you know how they say people got the sixth sense. Do you you can feel when either something ain't right with a person, or you be like, hey, this when he, when you're being threatened or not threatened or whatever. Do, do, do you have that vibe when you come to certain altercations or situations when you dealing with? No, it don't make no difference when you after you if you're a veteran officer. Mm-hmm. When you're a veteran officer, you just be on the guard for that at for all times. At all times. At time. at all time. Because no matter a sucker when you got it, he's cooperative now. They could switch, and, okay. and then the fight is on. So you don't. So you don't have the ability to say, "Oh, this is a good guy and this is a bad guy." You don't have that ability. No, you don't have that ability. If you get in the mind, if you want to go home, right? I feel if you want to go home, you and, 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 treat and, and everybody the, like this. The other yeah. thing is, I've had officers who were involved in shootings. You see what I'm saying? And the, people don't see the other side. It ain't. It ain't no. No. Uh, it ain't. It ain't like. You know, people are doing a, a dance and a jig and all that kind of stuff because I shot somebody. Right. You know, I've seen white guys. I've had white guys. I've had Hispanic guys that have been in, in shootings. These guys didn't even, wouldn't even be able to come back to work. You see, it ain't no easy thing. People don't realize that. They don't see that side of it. I've seen both sides of this thing. Mm-hmm. It ain't, you know, you, don't, you won't just kill nobody or shoot nobody. And, and, and go back to work and think, man, these people cost, at least in L.A., <laughs> L.A. County, they paid a lot of money out for psychiatrists and stuff. We paid a lot of money out because guys would, just weren't able to put the gun back on. You see, so on, the, on that side, you might think that, okay, yeah, 
uh, the guy was out there, and, and, the, and, the, and the guy got he shot the suspect, and he had every right to do it, and all this kind of stuff. But they don't get over it. It ain't that they they're happy and they can just go on with their lives. That ain't the way it is. Right, but and I understand that. But my thing is, these past to me, I think it's senseless in a sense because you have people that the, the police officer wasn't threatened though. They wasn't. They life. But but look at look at this too though. Snow, what Dad just said too. Now, for example, and, and I'm and I'm kind of hearing what he's saying right now. If we went in there and called 911 and said it's a white police jumping on a black a black man, what what the news gonna do? The whole world finna because yeah, yeah, yeah. because right now that's the hi- that's the new hype right now. Yeah, yeah. So what what Dad is saying is that it's the same shit going all around the world per se, but the new hype is white against black. You understand what I'm saying? So it, with with that being said, again, I don't think that we're downplaying me and you, and we got a right to be angry based on the loss of life and what we see is because the difference between me and you, we in the streets, so we know when a nigga being threatened and not being threatened, or when a nigga bothered and he ain't bothered. You, you feel what I'm saying? So me and you, Michael Brown situation would be totally different. Then get your monkey ass out the street and get on the curb. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? But to uh, to the person, like you said earlier, who don't know you're not from the the black culture or the black neighborhood to know, I'm oh, them just some kids, man, being, you know, you know, whatever. It's a threatening situation. So when you when you put all that shit together, what what when you put it all together, it's it's kind of a again, it's our fault per se, because we're not trying to be folk me me and you both know fuck, I ain't trying to be the police. I ain't no snitch. You understand what I'm saying? So if you don't want to be the police, then who got to be the police? Because the police, somebody got to be the police. <laughs> I mean, but on on on, a, on another level, though. You, you feel what I'm saying? If we don't want to be the police, then how can we be mad when they the police? Well, I ain't mad because they are the police. I'm mad because certain situations don't call for. But me and you know that. For that level, I'm gonna give you another perfect you know example. How many times me and you have been on our motorcycle? And we'd have been in a situation where we didn't have to put our hand on our thing, but didn't pull it. Had we not had the experience that me and you have from prior knowledge, we'd have pulled out and did a whole lot of crazy shit exactly. for, for nothing. So, so that's what I'm saying. Why can't they implement that same type of training? Basically, I feel like now that I've talked to Dad and got some different insight from a police officer perspective, well, we need to do something. That's going to help the officers as well as help us. So I guess we need to educate. Yeah, but it's going to take somebody on, like me and you. On how it, it's going to take a police some. officer approach you or if you're in this situation. And then I feel like on the law side. Mm-hmm. They, they need to be educated. Educated as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So but, but, it need so, to be a, but the bottom line is they are educated. The difference. I'm just telling you the difference in what's going on. In the black communities, and it is when something goes wrong. When something goes wrong, generally, the black community they'll get up and they'll complain. Al Sharpton and them will go out there and holler and do all this talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then two weeks later, believe me, the stuff in Ferguson. It'll be dead and gone. It'll be dead and gone. The people will go right on back doing what they've been doing. They'll, they, it'll still be two thirds. I mean, uh, two thirds black in the community. Yeah. There'll still be a white police. So you're saying this ain't gonna inspire nobody to become the police? That's the issue I think. Not, not, not yeah. just no, not just inspire. You don't have to have them inspired to be the police. Yeah. You have to have the community to say, "Damn it, we ain't gonna put up." This will never happen again. That's you ain't, we ain't yeah. gonna that's have. What, that's what I'm getting at. Right? Period. Yeah. We're yeah. not gonna have a police officer on this force that's gonna get out if a if a black man, a white man, Chinese, blue man, whatever is running away from you. You ain't gonna get your ass out shooting at him. Yeah. Because damn it, so it the boy shot how many times? What the uh, first? Twelve times. Yeah. Twelve bullets. They can account for eight of them. <laughs> what are the four? Yeah. And probably somebody's house or roof or okay, uh, so yeah. somebody else in the So right. You putting somebody up. We all you're already tra- always trained not to do no shit like what this officer did. 
Okay, so, Daddy, do you think he should have been indicted on procedure? Uh, 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 well, he, that's the reason why he resigned. Yeah. He's going to get fired anyway. When you look at all of the policies and stuff, look, I'm telling you, there's so many policies and procedures that police officers have to go by. But see, Dad, this he violated so many See, this is what I don't like, too, Dad. I'm glad you said that, Sal. And that that's always their cop-out. They resign. Nothing never... They never have to go through what I would have to go through or anybody else would have to go through the court system, go to jail, go to prison, do some time. They never have to do it. They resign. And before they resign, they still get paid without pay. But suspended with pay in, in most cases. So resign is they wait out the door and they never, never have to be. Well, Snowman said, is that pun is the re is resignation, is, is that, that should not be punishment enough. No, sir. Yeah. Resignation is punishment. <laughs> okay. Now, 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 you know, like I said, first of all, like I said, I do not believe for one minute that that boy got up that morning and said, I'm going to go kill me a black boy. Okay. Okay. It, it happened. The man's already going through that kind of stuff. Now he lost his job. Uh, unless he's rich some damn well, who, where you gonna get another job from? Uh, you might find some kind of. But then to the other side of it, you got racism on the that, other that side. They're looking at offering a job, yeah. Take care of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Boy, he, he got a couple hundred thousand dollars. You see what I'm saying? But all of that ain't gonna do him no good because he's gonna be sued. Mm -hmm. You see, all of this stuff, it ain't over yet. Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> and see, and that's what that's what that's another thing that 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 bothers me too. When these guys do these type of acts, they get all the support in the world from that side of the fence. In jail, they still got two hundred. They got bank accounts set up, trust funds set up. They take everything from us, yeah. Four hundred, five thousand dollars. But they take everything. But you ain't got nothing to take. But but no, no, no. Man, they don't. As a people, we don't do that for each other. We no, but even you can even go a step further than that, Snow. I'm gonna no, hold on that. We can go a step further than that. When when let's if when we mess up and we go to jail, nigga, they take any and everything that looked like us, related to us, about us, for us, was gonna be given to us, and some more we don't have nothing to come home to. Nothing. They they make sure that they drain every morsel that we have. And again, is that is that the lack of and not? Then when you get out, you're gonna still be in debt. Cause guess what? You're gonna pay that hundred thousand dollars restitution, fine, probation, <laughs> uh, your parole officer. You always in debt. Yeah. You always in debt. This man done killed a man, and he get out of jail. He go buy him a brand new bed. <laughs> Zimmer had like enough money to buy him a bed. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, though, Dad. You see. It's the pattern. See, no, no. See, you're looking at all of this stuff. Like I said, you have a situation where yet racism still is exists. in this exists. In so this you do believe that you 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 are yeah. not, no fool. Ain't nobody no fool. It, it, but the bottom line is, like I said, a lot of blacks in this country are racist. You already yeah, hell. You got way more blacks are way more racist than whites are. Now, Whoa. I'm gonna tell you, you don't believe that shit. But I'm, I'm gonna you tell you. Why, though? After four five hundred years, of course they're gonna be somewhat more feeling some type of way. Yeah, they're gonna be feeling. Some type of way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at, like okay. you said, let's go All back right. to the okay. forties, fifties, sixties, early seventies. Right. Okay. When you had to go through that, Dad, you feel some kind of way. No, no, too. no, no. When I went, now, you through can't admit that, cause you no, 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 no. You gonna no. feel some kind of way? No, I'm telling you, as far as. Going I can't get through, him. I can't get him saying. Going through the system, going through the way I went through. The bottom line is, I knew. If you know that they're against you, that somebody out there don't like you, you deal with it. You know that this you make the proper adjustments. Ain't gonna give you no break. You know that the sucker gonna pull you back if he get a chance. If you know all of this, then you should be able to. If you're man enough, you got. Enough going on up here. You educated. You supposed to be able to get around that. I mean, mm. hell, our forefathers that was out there on the doggone uh, plantation. 
I mean, the, the white men thought he had him. And, you know, no, but they were still able to get around all of the kind of bullshit and stuff that the white man was putting on him. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that was the worst. I mean, the man owned it. And he was still able. You see, but here we are today. We got all kinds of avenues, opportunities. We just don't take care of them. Look, we got our schools. Our kids go to school every day. Go to school every day. Check with those kids, the majority of those kids' parents. Check with them and see how many times they've ever even been to the school to talk to the teacher to see how their kid is doing. Yeah, we were just talking about that too with these yeah. new age from the 80s on up. I'm just, shit that I'm, just saying, I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. As far as we want things to change, but things are not going to change unless we make those changes. We have to change things in our own communities and our own race. Okay, well, Dad, let me ask you: Do we have a community? Do the, do us as blacks? Do we have our own community? Yeah, we have our communities. Yeah, we have our communities. Yeah. We yeah, have our have community. The question is, though, is where do we start at? Where you start? I'm gonna tell you where you start. Just like God put it out there, you start with the family. If you don't have a strong family. You can't have a strong community. Hmm. The families in the community, you see what I'm saying, make up the community. The communities make up the cities. The cities make up the counties. The counties make up the states. Okay. You see how it goes? Exactly. Yeah. If you don't have, and this is a black community, now you go to the white community, they got this shit going on. Some of them, not all of them now. And the other thing you guys got to understand is there's way more white poverty than there is black poverty. Yeah. You see, but when you go down there and see who's getting the food stamps, you see, they put our face out there. You see, but there's way more white people oh, yeah. that are that. on food. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. stuff. Yeah. But yeah. people, don't they don't highlight that and put that out there like that. Hell, they had a, a guy in Mississippi. The guy from Mississippi, he, uh, you know, they were talking about, uh, they said Obama is the food stamp president. Mm -hmm. Okay. They went down to Mississippi, they got this old boy, the boy living in a shack. I mean, the damn thing falling down. And they, they just going down here to talk to people to see what they feel, how they feel about different stuff. Here, they talk to this old boy. The old boy don't have no teeth in his mouth. He's Caucasian, he's, he's you know. And they said, well, what do, you, what do you think about the food stamp situation? Yeah, the bombers ain't right. They, 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 they should stop that. They should stop that. Well, sir, are you on? Yeah, I'm on. I, I, I use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you see, I, I, right. <laughs> you, you see, so you, I'm telling you, that, but see, this old boy is a racist. Mm -hmm. and, but they don't just come out and say, hey, this man, man. the news ain't going to tell you, hey, this old man is a racist. Right. This is the man, the way the man was raised up. He does not believe that black people should get anything. Should be anywhere, and they don't. They 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 can, He's living in a shack. a shack. Okay, but he look at me, you, anybody. We out here. We we got nice homes. We work for we 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 doing well. We've been blessed.